Hi, good Sunday morning, everybody. Welcome to the Annabelle Report. I'm Alan Harwell. And I'm Jordan Harwell. We are so excited. Phase one, soft opening of our church here. And this is big, isn't it? Yes, and if you'd like to stay up to date on all the changes around the church, be sure to check out the website and the Annabelle Baptist Church Facebook page for all the latest news. Yeah, things are changing on a daily basis. Megan Rose is standing by for our first story of the day. Megan? Students this year have had a crazy semester, but we have some very exciting news for the upcoming graduating seniors, and we have our youth pastor here, Justin Chapman, to tell us more about it. Yeah, it has been a different year. And man, we sure do miss and love our students. And because of that, we want to do something very special for our graduating seniors. On May 31st, Sunday evening, we want to have a graduation ceremony out in the parking lot, a time where they're able to walk the stage, a time where we can recognize them and something that they've done in life. We want to be a part of that. We want to love on them through that. And so what I'm asking from you as parents and students is if you would send me four pictures starting from birth to their senior year and a brief paragraph talking about some of the things that they've accomplished throughout the year and maybe some plans for the future. And we want to recognize that and get that out there. So contact me, either email or text, and we'll get back to you with the details to come. Thank you guys so much. We sure do miss you. Hey guys, as our church starts to reopen again, our presence online is only going to get bigger. So with that being said, we need people to help run the cameras, the audio, and the video. So if you would like to help and volunteer, please email nat at anavil.com or you can contact our church offices and we'll be sure to get back to you. Mother's Day is coming soon and I am in the back parking lot of the church by the gym. I'm here with Julie Martin and Amy Helt and they're going to tell you about a Mother's Day gift that you can pick up. Yes, we are so excited that your kids are going to get to make a Mother's Day gift this year. We are going to be in the back parking lot on May 8th. Amy will give you more details and all your kids need are some crayons. You'll pick up a packet and I can't wait for your kids to be able to give you your Mother's Day gift this year. Okay, so this is for preschoolers and our children's department. So little guys, make sure you remind your moms and dads to come and pick up your packets. You can pick up May 8th from 10 to 11 in the morning or 5 to 6 at night. So join us May 8th and come pick up your Mother's Day gifts. All right, that is a wrap for this week's Annabelle Report. Don't forget about our live streams every Sunday morning at 1030, Wednesday nights at 630, and of course our two daily devotionals on Mondays and Wednesdays at 3 o'clock. And Mother's Day is coming up, so if you'd like to find out what we'll be doing for that service, be sure to go to our website and our Annabelle Facebook page for all the latest news and for all the changes. Giving is such an important step in our, in our worship here at Annabelle Baptist Church. But because of our current situation, we have set up online giving. So all you have to do is go to our website, go to the menu tab. You will see online giving, press that button, and it will give you step-by-step -step information on how to give here online. Now, if you don't have access to online giving, you can always come by the church during our regular office hours and drop off your tithe and offerings right here. And don't forget, be thinking about Who's your one? Be thinking about a neighbor or a family member or a coworker. You could call, check on them, see if they need anything, pray for them, and more importantly, share the gospel. That you can make a huge difference. Thank you so much for watching the Annabelle Report. We'd like to say thank you for keeping up with all the changes, and we'll see you next time. And be sure to love God and love others.